Congress has said Party Chief Sonia Gandhi and Vice President Rahul Gandhi never intervened in any administrative matter, including the Ishra Jahan encounter case during UPA rule. Surjewala said Narendra Modi and BJP President Amit Shah owe an explanation to the 125 crore Indians on the real motive behind the desperation to shut the ongoing trial in the Ishra Jahan case. The Congress reaction came after statements of Nirmala Sita Raman and other BJP spokespersons in the shootout case. Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. is using his pawns and cronies to unleash a malicious and false agenda vis-a-vis -vis the role of Congress President Shrimati Sonia Gandhi and Congress Vice President Shri Rahul Gandhi by falsely attempting to connect them to the Ishra Jaha case. Neither did the, unlike the Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sam, which runs the current Modi government by remote control, intervenes and interferes in every policy and administrative decision, including appointments to various posts. Congress President Srimati Sonia Gandhi or Vice President Sri Rahul Gandhi never conferred with nor advised or gave any suggestion to the then Home Minister Shri P. Chidambaram or any other person or individual on any administrative issue, much less the Ishra Jaha case. Metropolitan Court did not decide based on any affidavit that it was a fake encounter. It decided based on evidence before it. SIT did not decide based on an affidavit of any individual. SIT <laughs> decided based on evidence that it was a fake encounter and submitted a report. Court monitored CBI inquiry, did not decide based on any affidavit. It decided based on overwhelming evidence that was available. And finally, High Court ordered a FIR of murder and finally a charge sheet against the accused officers on its own wisdom based on these three inquiries. So why confuse the issue by continuing to cite two affidavits when the final order of the High Court and when the final investigation report of SIT and Metropolitan Court is available? And those reports run into 300 pages. Somebody should, for heaven's sake, read those reports and then come to a conclusion and ask Prime Minister and BJP President, why are they derailing a ongoing judicial trial. What is the reason behind it? What is the motive behind it? Why is Prime Minister and BJP President scared of the trial? Powered by NNIS.